Hello, welcome back. We are still in chapter 1 of Biology, which talks about nutrition. And the last time we talked about the salt absorption of the plant, and we talked about an experiment in which Nutella algae is used, the algae which, used, uh, which lives in swamps, and we knew that when the plant uses chemical energy to absorb the ions from the outside medium in the swamps or in the soil to the inside medium of the plant, this process is called active transport. Today we'll talk about another experiment in this part in which barley plant is used and the radio active isotope of sulfur thirty five S. So in this experiment the scientists used the body plant and they tracked the radioactive isotope of sulfur absorbed by the plant to show what is the difference between the absorption of the radioactive isotope of sulfur in the case of the presence of oxygen in the restoration process and in the case of the lack of oxygen. So in the presence of oxygen is called aerobic respiration while in the lack of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration. So we will draw a graph to illustrate the, the results of the experiment. So here is a rate of salt absorption and here is the time in minutes Thirty, sixty, ninety, hundred twenty, fifty, hundred eighty, two hundred one, two hundred forty, hundred seventy, and so on. So the results shows that when the plant carry out the respiration anaerobically in the lack of oxygen. The results were as follows. This is in the anaerobic conditions. And when the plant carried out the respiration aerobically in the presence of oxygen, the results were like this. So, of course, it's obvious that the rate of salt absorption increases in the presence of oxygen in the aerobic conditions, while it decreases in the absence of the lack of anaerobic conditions. And this means that the active transport mainly depends on the absorbed energy or the produced energy from the plant. That depends mainly on the oxygen. And this is the conclusion of our experiment. And that was the end of the absorption part. And the next time we'll talk about the photosynthesis. Process. We'll talk about its importance for all the living organisms. And we will talk also about its requirements for the plant, the plant requirements to carry out the photosynthesis process and so on. 
So that's for today, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.